All right, you guys, I am absolutely torn on this one because, truth be told, I'm actually a relatively new fan to Death Note. It was one of those animes I kind of missed when it premiered, so last year was actually the first time I ever watched it, and lo and behold, I think it holds up, became one of my favorite anime ever. And so after that, I was curious, and I checked out the live-action Netflix adaptation of Death Note, and I had never been more disappointed and traumatized in my entire life. It seems as though whenever Netflix decides to do a live action anime, whether it's that or the Cowboy Bebop series, which I had my hopes up for because I enjoyed the cast. I, I thought like the costumes and the they were using the right music and everything. I was like, okay, we might have something going here. There might be something worthwhile here. And then it turned out how it did. So I am very apprehensive about any more live-action Netflix anime, and just anime in general, because anime, for the most part, part of what makes it good is that it's anime. You're telling the story in a particular way that you can't do in live-action. You're adding reactions that you can't really have with real actors. You're adding the intensity and the close-ups and the expression in the eyes, and like, there's a whole way that anime is made that just that's why it's anime that's why it's its own medium because it works best within that medium but it looks like netflix may be taking another crack at death note but here's the thing though I, here's what makes me a little bit torn because the people that are going to be behind this new version of death note are the duffer brothers and if you don't know they are the people that made stranger things which just wrapped up its fourth season extremely popular show even if you haven't watched that i'm sure you've heard of it before and they're kind of netflix's saving grace right now there really isn't netflix really needs the help because a lot of the other movie studios have created their own streaming services so a lot of movies got taken away from netflix so the thing that saves netflix is its original content it does have its own original anime bastard just came out which was great it has the baki series you know there's anime there that's really really good already but it needs its own live action shows ozark which was a show they mentioned here just wrapped up so stranger things is kind of like their thing they are lucky that they still have Stranger Things, but Stranger Things is only going to have one more season. So after that, what are the creators of Stranger Things going to do? Well, it looks like they're creating their own TV studio with Netflix, doing a deal, and they're going to make multiple shows. Um... And it says down here they have a couple of different ideas of what they're going to be doing. They're going to be doing one based on Stephen King's uh, adaptation of The Talisman. They're going to be doing one, I think, by the, with the creators of uh, The Dark Crystal. I saw that somewhere on here. Yeah, right there. Um, and this article I'll link down below. This is Deadline. So this is a reliable source. This isn't like comicbooknews302.com or whatever. This is Deadline. So this is legit. This is legitimate. And it says one of them that they're going to be making, that the Duffer Brothers are going to be producing, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be writing and directing the show. They might, I don't know, but they're going to be the guys behind it, the creative team behind it. And there's a couple of things that are good about that, in my opinion. Number one is that I am a fan of Stranger Things. I know some people don't like it. Some people think it only has the, the first season is the only one that's good, goes downhill after that. Some people don't like it at all. Some people think it's super overrated. Whatever you think about it, I think the tone of Stranger Things, having that sort of like dark, creepy atmosphere, the cinematography, I don't think anyone can argue that the cinematography in uh, Stranger Things is bad. It, I just, it isn't. It looks really, really good, especially with the newer seasons as they have more and more budget. So I think the look and the tone of Death Note is actually something that could work with the Stranger Things creators. Also, it looks here like they're going to be making it a series and not a movie. That makes me very excited because that is what you need to do with something like Death Note. Death Note is not a story you can wrap up in two hours. The 2017 movie changed everything about the characters. It made Light Yagami this like simping like dorky stupid like he's supposed to be a mastermind right i when i watch death note i relate it more to breaking bad than i do like a standard anime because it's about a character that goes into something with 
originally good intentions, right? Maybe doing it for the right reasons or justifiable reasons, but continues to go darker and darker and tries to get himself out of trouble and like the lengths of which he will go to pursue what he's trying to do while also keeping himself out of, uh, you know, going to jail or being caught, you know? So it's that battle of wits between him and L. It's a series that uh, needs to be a series to make sense. It, like, to make it into a movie, you're trying to cram way too much. The only thing that was decent about that movie was uh, Willem Dafoe doing the voice of Ryuk. <laughs> Honestly, if they got Willem Dafoe back to do the voice of Ryuk again, I wouldn't even be mad. I'd be fine with that. Uh, yeah, but it looks like that's going to be one of the ones that they do, and they just basically give a little bit of a sum summary about it. And they say alongside of the, the Dark Crystal writers, the Stephen King adaptation, um, stage play of Stranger Things, I don't, I don't know. So... Uh, you know, you can read the whole article for yourself down below. I don't need to read it to you. It doesn't really talk specifically about Death Note. It just says that that's one of the properties that they're looking at to do. Um, I would also say the Duffer Brothers, from what it seems like, they are fans of these types of genre movies. Like, they like horror. They like sci-fi. They like the weird sort of supernatural things. I think this is why I'm torn, is because on the one hand... It has been proven time and time again that live-action anime adaptations are usually not good, especially when they're done by Netflix, right? There's good anime adaptations out there. I think there are. I think uh, the Roni Kenshin movies from Japan are really good. I'm in the very vast minority that I actually enjoyed the Ghost in the Shell live-action, though I think it's pretty dumbed down for modern audiences. I still enjoyed the movie. Um, but when it comes to Cowboy Bebop, the Death Note film, the stuff Netflix have done, absolutely not. With the Duffer Brothers on the team and behind it, it gives me a little bit more hope along with it being a series. And also, Death Note is one of those anime that I feel like is better suited to be live action if you wanted it to be. Because some anime that is just like crazy, over the top, you know, ridiculousness doesn't really suit itself. Whereas Death Note, it's pretty grounded, takes place in the real world as we know it, is mostly human characters. There are the, uh, you know, the Shinigami, but they're like accessories to the story. They're in there, but they're not necessarily the prime focus. The prime fo focus is between um, Light Yagami and L, you know? And of course, I I'm always interested to see like a live action uh, Misa because I love me some goth chicks. By the way, the Misa from the 2017 movie, Great actress, just didn't, no, nope, didn't have the look, man. Give me, I need those fishnets, bro. Anyways, um, so I don't know, man, I'm torn. I, I kind of don't want it to happen, but I won't lie to say that I'm not very curious to see what the Duffer Brothers would be able to do with it. So I guess I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic, cautiously optimistic I, I am going to obviously wait. The, who knows? It might not even happen. Something might, you know, go under and then all of a sudden, oh, we got to shut down the studio. We can't even make it. As more information comes out, I think it'll be a little bit easier to be either worried or confident about it. But just the initial news itself, super skeptical because live action anime. But you add the Duffer Brothers, you add their style, you add their, you know, the way that they shoot the shoot their scenes and um, their casting ability, you know, they, they've proven themselves to be good filmmakers, in my opinion. Um, and Death Note is already a great property, so if you just follow the storyline of what Death Note is, adding into, you know, their cinematography, adding in, you know, good actors, it's possible, it's possible, but I don't know. Anyways, uh, so that's basically it, man. Not a whole lot of news. I'll link the article down below. You guys let me know what you think. Would you be curious to see a re-attempt to making a Death Note live action? Remember, it's going to have nothing to do with the previous 2017 version. Completely different cast behind it. Completely different crew, writers, everything. It's a series, not a movie. All that stuff. Or would you rather just fuck it, don't do it, don't touch it, just leave it alone? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. Also, like this video if you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate it if you do so. It helps me out a lot. Also, you can check the links in the description if you want to help support the channel on that deeper level. I have a Patreon, merch store, and various social media links where you can follow me. Other than that, guys, hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you next time.